In Ontario, the legislation for that defines parentage of children born in a surrogacy arrangement does require that there be a signed legal agreement with independent legal advice to all parties involved done before the child is conceived. And so long as you have a legal agreement signed that meets those terms, then upon birth of that child, the child's birth registration will be able to go into the names of the intended parents without the need for court process to help with that. But what's important is that a surrogacy agreement will also include a multitude of other terms that address all the potential scenarios that can come up throughout the surrogacy and ensure that everybody is on the same page with their intentions. The same is true for egg donation and sperm donation. It's important when you're entering into these arrangements that everybody's clear on what the intentions are, who's intended to be a parent, who's not intended to be a parent, what are the terms around the use of the donated materials, are we going to be storing some cryogenically for later use, or is it going to be used right now and not later, what happens in the event of death of a party, what are the support obligations towards any children born, Normally donors don't want to have any support obligations so you want to make sure these terms are very very clear as well as clarifying what the financial arrangements are around this. It's not legal to pay surrogates or donors in Canada and a sperm donor agreement, an egg donation agreement or a surrogacy agreement are all going to clearly itemize what expenses are reimbursable which is permitted in Canada and how the reimbursements must take place so that everybody's properly protected.